Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Today, I will tell you one of best new movies from 2023, The Boy's Word. 1989, Kazan, USSR. Without money for a piano, Andre learns to play the keys using painted cardboard. On his way to school, he notices how three boys attack a bully and he tries to escape. A crowd of school children smashes Marat's face and throws a stone at the bus window, but he manages to run inside and hide from them. Realizing that the bully will pester them, Andre hastily takes off the watch that he inherited from his father. Marat demands money from the guys, but they answer that they have nothing. The bully quickly reveals the deception, causing Iskander to jump. The school children who deceived him have a choice. Andre will either hit Iskander in the chest or get hit in the face. Refusing, he catches a blow to the jaw. At school, Iskander promises to take revenge on the bully and tell his older brother about everything. Andre decides to compensate his classmate for his losses and gives him 20 kopecks. During class, he is reprimanded for a crumpled report, after which the class is interrupted by a vigilante and local police officer, Irina Sergevna. The guy immediately falls in love with a charming girl, even though she is older than him. A little later, the English teacher asks him to tutor a guy from another class, but it turns out that he is Marat. On the way home, it turns out that Marat is not such a bad person. Noticing that the man has become ill and is lying unconscious, Marat calls an ambulance and drags him into the entrance so that he does not freeze. A real kid lives in luxurious conditions and is waiting for the return of his brother, who is fighting in Afghanistan. A little later, the guys go to the store, and while Andre distracts the saleswoman's attention, Marat steals two American caps. The next morning, Iskander and two schoolchildren who decided to become his accomplices demand three rubles from Andre as moral damages for the situation on the bus. Andre refuses to give the money and gets hit in the ribs. Gradually, Andre and Marat become friends, boxing together, playing the piano and robbing weaker people. At a concert, Marat meets violinist Aigul, but the modest girl avoids communicating with the hooligan. A little later, Koshe, the leader of the Universam gangster group, asks Marat to wash his car. Iskander and his accomplices beat Andre at school, demanding three rubles. Meanwhile, Marat gets hit in the face, but joins the Universum gang, becoming a real kid. Upon returning home, Andre asks his mother for money, but she cannot help her son since it is too much for them. Trying to earn the respect of his comrade, Andre takes Igel's number to give it to Marat. Later he comes to a meeting of the Universum gang and decides to become part of it. Turbo is ready to recognize him as a real guy, but only after he survives the fight. Marat beats up his comrade, but the others accept him into the gang, greeting the newcomer with a man's handshake. In the evening, the company spends time together and runs away from the police. The mother is nervous because her son has changed, but he tells her not to worry. In the morning, Iskander again tries to get money out of the guy, but Marat stands up for him, since Andre is a real kid and a member of the gang. A little later, Marat brings Andre up to date and talks about the gangs that have divided the city into districts. Among them, there are thugs, who are ready to take a person's life. A real kid is not just a title, but also a willingness to defend the area at the cost of his own life. He must not be afraid of blows to the face and participate in mass fights, where he can lose his life if he makes the slightest mistake. Marat calls Aigul and invites her on a date, but the girl refuses. In the evening, Winter notices that the guys are smoking and decides to punish them for it. Four guys, including Andre and Marat, are hit in the face, but they steadfastly accept the punishment. In the evening, Andre runs away from home and sells his camera to go with friends to Moscow. Here, they continue to lead a criminal lifestyle, robbing students and women in the market. At some point, Andre and Marat encounter a drunk rocker. Marat beats him and runs away and Andre is taken to the police station. The mother tries to defend her son in front of Irina Sergevna, but Andre is not ready to betray his friends for his own good. Upon exiting the station, he is met by a crowd of guys greeting their hero. Andre decides to cut his hair bald so as not to look miserable and fit in with his friends. 
Since he is now a hooligan and a real boy, Andre does not pay for the hairdresser's services and runs away. In the evening, Andre meets Irina Sergeyevna and invites her to the cinema. In the hall, it turns out that they will not be showing a film, but a propaganda video directed against gangs and street formations. Irina Sergeyevna invites Andre to the stage for a debate, but he runs away so as not to look stupid in front of the other boys. At the market, Koshe and several of his henchmen deceive people by offering to play thimbles. Marat helps them to create the impression that everyone can win. Andre's mother decides to take part and loses her entire salary and cap. Marat tried to warn that this was the mother of one of his own, but no one listened to him. The guy has to scare off the gang with the police, but they understand that this is a deception and severely punish him. Upon returning home, Marat meets his father, but does not find mutual understanding with him because of his gangster concepts. Andre returns home and meets Major Ildar, who has accepted a statement regarding fraud. The police representative treats the guy and his mother well, so he gives him food and allows Andre to play on the computer. In the evening, he asks in exchange for his kindness to write a list of accomplices, and the guy agrees. Vova, nicknamed Adidas, Mara's older brother, returns to Kazan. Vova asks Koschai to return the stolen money to Andre's mother, and he sets the condition that he will do this if Adidas defeats their new fighter in the ring. Vova tries to fight, but just one blow knocks him out. Realizing that the gang has become inadequate, Vova proposes to create his own movement and fight not for land, but for the opportunity to do business. Starting the next morning, he, Andre, Maras, and several other guys begin to charge tolls for travel through their land. Some drivers meet this with aggression and try to escape. Others obediently pay, which allows the guys to make good money. Soon, the entire Universam gang goes to a disco, where other groups are present. Marat invites Aigul to the disco, and Andre tries to invite Irina Sergeevna to a slow dance. Having been refused, he beats Iskander, who has become a member of a rival gang. As a result of this, a massive fight begins, and Irina Sergeevna helps Marat and his girlfriend and Andre Hyde. Meanwhile, a crowd of hooligans from a rival gang attacks Yerilash and brutally beats the guy. His friend saw all this, but did not protect the guy because he was afraid of becoming a victim of hooligans. Ildar learns that Andre deceived him with the list by writing fictitious names. Having dragged the guy into the toilet, the policeman beats him with a boot with a brick inside. Marat tries to return the cap to the store, but he is recognized as the thief. Trying to return the hat to Andre's mother, the guy attacks the teacher and steals her headdress. A little later, the boys visit Andre in a crowd and give the gift to his mother. Kirill scratches his forehead with a broken bottle to say that he and Yerilash were attacked. The guy is afraid to tell the truth and says that they were attacked in a dark alley, but he doesn't know who it was. The gang and Yerilash's grandmother go to the hospital, but from there, they are taken to the morgue to identify the body. Ildar tells Andre about where and how this happened, as a result of which it becomes clear that Kirill lied. Having learned that these are hooligans from the departure gang, Marat goes to their area and provokes the crowd, insulting everyone present. Marat escapes, but it turns out that this is a trap prepared by his gang. Adidas and the entire crowd of the Universam attack the hooligans who took the life of their boy and are severely punished for this. Upon returning to the gym, Vova learns that the leaders of a neighboring gang have come to Koshche, since the information from Kirill is a blatant lie. Convinced of this, the Universum gang humiliates, beats, and spits on the liar who did not protect his friend and expels him from the criminal movement, depriving him of his status as a real kid. In the morning, Yerilash's funeral takes place, and the gang gives the boy his word to remember him. Upon returning home, Andre learns that his mother is dating policeman Ildar. From him, he learns that the guys from the Hadi gang are behind the attack on Yerilash Taktash. In the evening, Andre goes to Irina Sergevna's house party, but is driven away there, considering him a hooligan. He demonstrates how to play the piano and promises to beat up everyone he sees on his territory. In the morning, Andre enters into a fight with Iskander to protect a guy from junior school. Soon the school learns that Marat stole the teacher's hat, for which his father severely punishes him. The crowd is preparing for a showdown, 
but Koshe met with the main one from Kadi Taktash. They decided not to include retaliatory actions for Yerilash, since he himself is to blame for what happened. Vova Adidas offers to sort it out, but only volunteers will follow him. The crowd supports him, considering Vova the new leader. Having gone to someone else's area, they attack Hadi Taktash, but receive wounds and traumatic brain injuries. Only Marat managed to survive as he returned home for brass knuckles, and his father tried to take him to another city. Despite this, the guy escaped, and, having learned about what had happened, asked Koschai for help. The gang leader disowned those who were hit in the face, as they are weaklings and traitors. Irina Sergeyevna visits Andre and gives the guy his first kiss, after which he finds a room with a bad boy from Hadi Taktash, who takes the life of Yerilash and beats him. Kadi Taktash break into the hospital to avenge the beating of a comrade. Marat, Andre, and Turbo kidnap Vova straight from the operating room to save his life. Having barely fought off the hooligans and stolen an ambulance, they hide in a shelter. Marat stays overnight with a friend, after which his mother decides to send Andre to the Suvorov school, but he is not accepted for his impudent communication. The next morning there is a general meeting of the Universum members, where Vova accuses Koschai of not standing up for the late Yerilash. Vova calls the gang leader a rat, resulting in a fight, but the crowd defends their new leader. After opening the safe, they find money and a revolver after which they visit a home video store. Believing that this is a profitable business, the hooligans steal the VCR. Ildar tries to kick Marat out, but Andre's mother stands up for the guy and drives the policeman away. Ildar knows that Andre beat the guy in the hospital and threatens him with a real prison sentence. Marat secretly returns home, but his father finds out about this and asks him to stay. In the evening, Families gather to discuss everything that is happening and find a way out of a difficult situation. Andre's mother goes to school and finds out that she is wearing a stolen hat. This becomes a strong blow for her, as a result of which the woman loses her sanity and tries to set herself on fire. Andre's mother is taken to a mental hospital, and the beaten guy in the hospital survives, which allows Vova to resolve the conflict with the Kadi gang, Taktash. Egil avoids communicating with Marat, but a guy in a green car begins to chase her. Vova repairs the damage to the thrift store and rents a vacant space to open a video store. Irina Sergeyevna avoids dialogue with Andre, but he pursues her all the way to the restaurant where he sings a song and confesses his feelings. The musicians are against his performance, as a result of which their argument ends in a brawl. Vova fell in love with a nurse and visits her in the dormitory but the girl avoids him. Marat finds out that a guy in a Jiguli is following her and knocks off the car mirror, after which a romantic relationship begins between him and Igel. The girl helps Marat's older brother run his business, and Ildar promises to help get Andre's younger sister taken to an orphanage. The Dombita gang steals Igel and the VCR, as it belonged to their man, Yellow. The gang leader arranges a meeting with Vova, but lures him into a trap. Vova, Marat, and Zima are beaten, after which they demand an apology. The leader of Universam has to kneel because they are trying to cut off his brother's ear. Meanwhile, the guy in the green car takes Agul by force. Having learned about this, Yellow beats the scoundrel and throws him out into the street. The gang doubts Vova because he apologized. To restore his reputation, he goes to Yellow and shoots his gang members. Having learned about what happened to Igel, he takes the life of Yellow, who refused to ask for forgiveness. Vova returns Igel to the basement, after which Marat takes her home. The parents find out about what happened, but do not report it to the police, because they do not want even more shame. Vova begins to care for the nurse, and they begin a romantic relationship. In the evening, Vova tells his brother about what happened to Igel, and asks him not to approach her. Otherwise, he will be humiliated and thrown out of the gang. Marat does not want to believe this, and the girl confirms that nothing happened to her. Vova begins to train the guys and establishes strict discipline, even hitting his own brother for being late. The fate of each member of the Universum group is also told here. In the near future, almost everyone, including Zima, will be publicly killed in gang warfare. Vova does not protect the guy from bullies, 
and this upsets Natasha, so he has to correct the situation. In the evening, he invites her to a disco, and a ghoul runs here to dance with Marat. Andre asks Ildar to take his mother from the psychiatric hospital, and the policeman begins to live in their house. A little later, the guy learns that Vova is wanted for a crime. Turbo learns from a former member of the Dombita gang that Igul is still a dirty girl from whom she should stay away. Everyone laughs at her, causing Igul to run home. Searches are carried out in the house of Vova and Marat, and the gang leader is hiding in Natasha's hostel. Andre goes home to Irina Sergeyevna, but she is not alone, but with a musician, Igul. Realizing that everyone has turned their backs on her, jumps from the balcony and takes her own life. Andre comes to the hostel and tells Vova about what happened to Egul. The gang leader picks up his younger brother from school and takes him to the cemetery, where they get drunk at the grave of his comrade Adidas, who died in Afghanistan. When Marat goes home, Vova shouts to him about what happened with Egul, but he no longer hears him. Andre and the guys attack the musician and beat him so that he stays away from Irina Sergeyevna. Realizing that the police will arrest him, Vova tells Natasha that he took a man's life by standing up for the girl's honor. The couple leaves for the village to visit Natasha's aunt and attends the funeral. It turns out that Yellow is her cousin. Marat learns at school that Igul is no more. One of Yellow's wards recognizes Vova and beats him after which Natasha breaks up with him. Andre's mother lost her daughter, but Turbo helps find her. The police call the orderlies, and the woman is taken to a psychiatric hospital, after which the baby is taken to an orphanage, and Andre runs away and asks for asylum from the gang leaders. Vova retires and appoints Zima in charge. Marat also joins the gang, but Turbo humiliates him and kicks him out of their movement. Marat agrees to cooperate with Ildar in exchange for the arrest of the guy in the green jiguli and asks Andre not to come to the gathering. The next day, Marat provokes Turbo into a fight. The police separate the guys and find Turbo the revolver that was used to kill Yellow. All detainees are taken to the detention center, after which Marat and Kirill are confronted. The former gang member points out that the weapon belonged to Vova which means it was he who took the life of Yellow and should be in prison. Ildar releases Andre, but says that this was his last help, since the relationship with the guy's mother was broken. In the rocking room, Andre meets Koshche and learns that the Universam gang no longer exists, and he owes him money, since all the hooligans are excluded from the boys' movement. Vova asks his younger brother to bring him things from home, but Marat refuses to help blaming him for what happened to Egul. Marat's parents are given a certificate of honor for their help in apprehending the criminal and are offered to join the Komsomol. Irina took the girl to her place and invites Andre to live in her apartment. Ildar comes to Natasha and runs into Vova. The former gang leader beats up the policeman and the couple escapes. Meanwhile, Marat is accepted into the Komsomol. After the meeting, Marat and Andre quarrel and fight, but this time Andre wins, considering his former friend a traitor. Natasha and Vova are trying to leave the city, but their father, in a pre heart attack state, wants to celebrate his anniversary in a restaurant. The son decides to return, but his father refuses him. Andre visits his mother and decides to buy flowers, but he is arrested at the market. Vova tries to escape but Ildar shoots him, and the guy falls into eternal sleep in Natasha's arms. Komsomol helps organize a meeting between Marat and the guy for whom Igul committed suicide, allowing him to be brutally beaten. In the final scene, Andre plays the piano in prison while serving time for theft. Thank you for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. See you.